Welcome to the Business Resource and Innovation Center's Business Databases Introduction Series. Today we will review Simply Analytics, which is a web-based mapping, analytics, and data visualization tool with over 100,000 data sets on consumer behavior and media markets. It's a very robust demographics tool that analyzes data by state, county, zip code, census tracts, and block groups. Data is aggregated from a number of data sources, including EASI, Simmons Local, AGS, and more. To access Simply Analytics, navigate to our business services page at freelibrary.org slash business. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click the link that says Premier Business Databases. Once you click this link, you will be taken to a list of the 13 databases we primarily use for business research. They are listed in alphabetical order, so scroll until you see Simply Analytics. Simply Analytics is not usually available off-site, but since we are remote, it is now available to you from the comfort of your home. Since you are home, it will prompt you to enter your library card number and your PIN number, and then you will be able to gain access to the database. You can create an account or you can sign in as a guest. If you create an account, you will be able to save your work to refer to for future references. If you do not create an account and you sign in as a guest, you will not be able to save your work or refer to it after you log out of the system. We're going to sign in as a guest today. If you were a returning user, you will be prompted to create a new project, open a new project, or manage a project. But since we signed in as a new user, it's going to prompt you to take the tour of Simply Analytics. We highly recommend taking this tour as it will be a comprehensive guide to how Simply Analytics works. So first we want to create a new project. You'll first be asked to type in a location. We suggest typing a larger location like a city before you type in really specific locations such as zip codes. We're going to type in Philadelphia. And then we're going to enter a couple of zip codes. Once you enter your zip code, you will be prompted to enter C variables. And C variables will remain constant throughout your search. You can choose to highlight all of them, or you can choose to highlight none of them. For our example, we'll just remove housing built in 1939 or earlier because it will not be relevant to our search. Your initial view will be, be defaulted to the map view. You can also view data in different ways at any point in your search. These views can be toggled on the right toolbar and they include comparisons, reports, rankings, and the map view, which we are in. You can change this view at any time, but in changing the view, it's important to know that any data variables you add will be lost if you do not save them. If you save them, you can then add them back easily without having to search for them again. The data shown at the top can also be toggled. You can toggle between variables that you choose by clicking the drop-down menu, locations, and you can choose to search by zip codes or even census tracts. If you want to add data, you can either type it in the data search field here, or you can search from a pre-selected group of demographic features or categories that are here. For our first search, we're going to type a general search of education. Once we type in our search we're going to get a number of results. We yielded 490 results just for the word education. If you want to explore what data variable options you have, you can scroll down the list. You can also limit your data search by specific category parameters that are listed on the left side. This will limit your search even more. If we wanted to know the percentage of education attainment of high school degrees, what we could do is hover over this box with the blue dots, click on it, and it will give you a little bit more information about this data variable. First, we suggest adding it to your favorites if you plan on using it 
or using it in different views. Once you add it to your favorites, it will now be saved and you can access it by clicking this star on the left hand side right next to where you typed in education. You can now click it again and choose to use this variable and it will add it to your search. Once you add it to your search, you can exit out and you'll be able to see more information in the center here based on what we had. So if we want to change our search, what we can do is click the drop down menu. We want to make sure that it's searching the variable that we want to look at specifically and the zip code or city that we want to look at specifically. Let's choose 19145. And then we're going to make sure that we're searching by census tracts. Census tracts are groups that are smaller than zip codes that are more representative of a neighborhood. If you look at your legend here, it tells you a little bit more about the information that it's displaying. In areas that are really red, that means that people in that area have a higher percentage of obtaining a high school degree. People with lighter areas have, are less likely to have completed their high school degree. You can look at this variable in different views by changing over here on the right hand side. Let's look at a comparison table. As you can see, we lost the data variable that we just recently added. So what we can do to add it back again is click on the star and click on the variable. It's automatically added, and now we can see it in our comparison table. You can move these options around if you want to rank them differently, and you can even move your locations if you want to organize them differently. If we wanted to go to our ranking table, for example, click on ranking, and then you'll be able to see your data in yet another view. You can scroll to find important information that is relevant to what you're looking for. And you can even get more information by clicking on the titles. If you want to view metadata, basically metadata is another word for information about the information. It will show you the source of the information so that you know exactly where your data is coming from. You can export information in any view that you see on the page. Whether you're in map view or you're in a comparison table view, you can export your information and be able to save it or print it for future references. You can also search data by clicking on any of the preset categories here. And if you click on them, you'll see that we'll see a very similar layout as what we saw when we typed in our data variable. You can choose to click any of these variables and add them to your search, and you can customize it as closely as you want to what you're looking for. You can also overlay businesses if you wish. You can search for business types, you can search for businesses and in specific industries and you can overlay them on your map. Thank you for watching.